Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today I have a couple of x-ray heads that I'll be taking apart and salvaging as much as I can out of it. Uh, we'll be keeping the federal connectors on the ends here and any other useful parts that there are inside. This little guy here still got the shutter assembly attached. Uh, once we've taken this one apart, we'll move on to this larger one down here and take any useful parts out of that one as well. So let's cut through the fat. I'll take some parts off of this, get the oil out, and um, do the same with the other one. Put all the parts up on the bench and take a closer look. Let's get into it. Okay, I've done the small x-ray head, now we're doing this larger one. So we'll start taking this apart. Well that just almost ended in disaster, bloody oil everywhere.
Well, I had to stop the camera and clean up all the oil that I spilt on the floor, so I didn't bother filming the teardown of the second x-ray head because, well, that would just be pretty boring to watch that twice. Uh, but I've got everything up on the bench now that I want to keep. I've got a set of female uh, federal connectors here, these receptacles at the back, and I've got another set here. Uh, terminations on these ones are under the caps here. You see we've just got some brass uh, nuts on some brass studs there, and just standard ring terminals uh, on the ends of the wires here. Uh, they've got the O-ring seals which I've kept, and I also kept the aluminium locking rings that hold them down to the face panel. Also got a high voltage feed through here and I kept both of the x-ray tubes themselves. This big one here came out of the spare x-ray head that I found sitting in that big crate uh, or steel cage down at the scrapyard. Um, it's pretty massive. It's a rotating anode so this thing actually rotates, rotating that tungsten target on the top there and that will spin at about 10,000 RPM, maybe even more um, and you can see that they've drilled it out to get it all balanced and working smoothly to minimise the heat um, in the actual tube itself to prolong the life of the tube and that anode actually sat inside this winding here so this winding would be pulsed or with either pulsed AC or AC and that would cause this assembly to rotate, um, allowing more energy to be um, emitted from the surface of that tungsten target. And you can see that they've got the glass window here. So that's where most of the um, x-rays would be shooting out. Uh, so I've got both of the windings for both of them. But this one here, you can see... If I bring you in a bit closer, that this actually has a big crack on the glass there. So um, I'm guessing that that is what would have caused the decommissioning of this X-ray machine that I um, tore down. Um, so if I take you in a bit closer over here, you can see that I've got a few other bits and pieces that I've kept. Uh, this one here is the base that the um, x-ray tube actually sat into. So the x-ray tube fitting here would actually sit inside this brass fitting. And through that hole there, we would have this high voltage lead going straight into that hole, making connection with this brass fitting, which in turn connects to this uh, rotating anode here. Uh, I also kept these shrouds which sat around the actual tube themselves. Uh, if I can, actually, I can't really. But yeah, it would just sit around this section of the tube in between the tube and the winding. Uh, I also kept this little fitting, don't know why, square peg in a round hole. Might be useful one day. And I also kept this little guy. Um, again, you don't see that sort of handiwork too often, so I thought I'd keep it. Maybe I might be able to make use of it, maybe not. Uh, but these things I'll definitely be able to use. Some blue ceramic plastic looking shrouds. Um, and there's another one sitting inside this winding here. So, there you go. It's still leaking oil. You can see down there it's all sort of yellowy. You can see all the oil just leaching out of that coil. Gone through about 20 of these little serviette things. Still going. But um, yeah, so that's a pretty useful bunch of parts there. Now, I actually don't want to keep both of these x ray tubes. I do want to keep this because it's massive. Looks like it could x-ray a whale or an elephant or something um, so I'll keep that because it's not broken but this one here I actually want to smash it apart and remove this whole um, balanced rotating anode and reuse it in my own vacuum chamber uh, but I'm a bit cautious in doing that because I know some of these 
X-ray tubes and um, you know magnetron tubes contain things like beryllium oxides and coatings and mercury and all sorts of stuff. So if anyone knows if there's anything sinister inside these tubes, can you let me know? Because if there isn't, I'll probably do a video of me taking apart one of these x-ray tubes here, which would be this one here, um, to salvage this main anode assembly here. And we might even keep some parts out of this cathode up here. Um, but yeah, that would be good to know if anyone knows if that's safe or not. This particular x-ray tube is a Toshiba DR66. There's a stamp on there, 17111. Um, so yeah, Toshiba DR66. Pretty cool. Now tucked away in the dark corner of my garage here, I've got my new x-ray transformer. Puts out 100 kV. So you can see the negative terminal there and the positive terminal of the high voltage there. Now these fittings are in relatively good condition, a bit of surface rust apart from this crack here in this um, strain relief insulator here. Um, so I'll probably replace that, but apart from that, the whole thing looks to be in fairly good condition. Just a bit of surface rust on these fittings. Um, the whole thing needs a bit of a dusting, but that's about it. And then over here we have the low voltage inputs. So um, pretty simple to wire up. I've even got a little oil level dipstick attached to the transformer here. So that'll come in handy. Down there is just a whole bunch of 75 kV DC power cable. Um, so it's all that grey stuff just wrapped around my inductor stand there. As you saw in the previous video, I kept the whole control panel in one piece. Everything's still attached to the back. I also kept this little push-button remote controller unit here. It's on this corded, thick corded cable, so I might use that on my black box. Might not. Here's one of the boards that, that I kept from the x ray machine. All the relays there. Getting close, you can see the contactor, AC capacitor, little transformer, a timer, little DC capacitor there, and a massive wiring loom. This is another transformer that was in the actual X-ray machine. I kept all of the resistors. These ones are actually pretty chunky. I don't know how many amps you could put through that, but it looks like pretty heavy wire. So um, I'm guessing it'll handle a bit of power. Got two of those. I got two of those. And one of these here. Also managed to get a couple of capacitors. This one here is a 750 volt AC 0.02 microfarad cap and I also managed to keep these capacitors here as well. They're 250 volt caps. The one at the front there is a 4 microfarad, the other three are 8 microfarad caps. At the back here we've got a bunch of terminal blocks here, more terminals, more terminals. Another board with some diodes on it and a resistor and a capacitor. Um, these light bulbs were in the shutter assembly, but they seem to be coated with some sort of a graphite looking powdered substance. I don't really want to touch it, but um, if anyone knows what that is, I would love to know. Um, I've got two of those. I've got one spare one that came in the box there. And I also managed to get a little bone measuring thing here that was in the storage compartment got a few fuses a uh, little tape measure that was attached to the um, actual x-ray head itself um, I got this bank of panel mount fuses here 
And on the back end of this, you can see some tubes there, capacitor, a couple of transformers here, and some potentiometers that have been preset and stuck into position. And I also got this little timer guy here. Uh, so that's pretty much everything that came out of the X-ray machine.